Good afternoon, and it's a Saturday, or as Carrie says, a Catterday, and uh, I'm going to stream a couple of different fun things this afternoon, just a little play, see what's up, and uh, so, waiting for people to arrive here, hi AJ, I see AJ and Jeannie and Sandy Chick and Carrie and Janet, Paula, and Sandy, hello, hello, and Rain, and Colleen, and Vicky, so far. Welcome, welcome, everyone. All right. So, just wait a few minutes. For those of you who are watching on the recording, Welcome, and just so you know, there is, this is being recorded via Ustream.tv slash channel slash music scrap without an A um, on live on Saturday afternoon, March 21st. So then there is also a live chat, so you will hear me talking to my friends over there. And uh, if you ever want to join us, just come on over. The account is free, and fun times are had by all. So, okie dokie. So, hi Eileen. What time you got here? Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, so, first of all, I thought I'd show you all my spirograph that I bought. We were talking about it. I can't remember what stream we were talking about it at. But, you know, when we were young, my older sister had a spirograph set. Not one cool like this, but she had a spirograph set. My younger sister had one called Spiro Tot, which was just a smaller kit. And I didn't get one. So, I don't know what I got that year for Christmas. They One got a Spirograph, one got a Spirotot, and I can't remember what my game was. We always got a game. We usually got a doll or a toy and, you know, clothes and stuff or whatever. But So, I don't know what my game was that I got. Hey, Vicky. Cotton candy and art with friends. Oh, R. Yeah, I, you know what, Eileen, what's really funny is right after I ordered this online uh, from Amazon, my, my email came from Michael's and they had them at Michael's. I was like, I've never seen them at Michael's. And then when I finally ordered one, I, I ordered one on Amazon and then Michael gets them in. I'm like, it's really silly. Hi, Jillian. Nice to see you. Well, there were several options on Amazon to get several different sets and I thought you know what if I'm gonna go and get one I'm gonna go big oh maybe I should zoom out just a moment please let me zoom out all the way here whoops hold on let me zoom out as far as it'll let me oh I think that's as far as it's gonna let me yeah that's at a hundred Okay, so this is my Spirograph set. Now the cool thing about this set is that it comes in this box and it has a place over here on this side. Let me try and turn it this way maybe. It has a place on this side for you to work and then all your things are over on this side. I'm just going to kind of sit it like this. So you can see. Okay, yeah, exactly. To borrow from some of them. So this is Super Spirograph. And the cool thing is, not only does it come, this is like my sisters came with kind of this. The round, two different, you know, your different round ones and then all your different discs. This one also comes with some straight line and some cur small curves and big medium curves and big curves to make 
different shaped ones. It has the three different color pens with it. Of course, I have a set of gel pens with every lots of different colors. And then it, it comes with this kind of triangular sort of shaped one here and a cross shaped one. So you can make different size and patterns. See, it shows you here on the cover. You can make triangle ones. You can make like cross shaped ones, square ones. So lots of cool, see you can make, even make a, oh, I'll show you the book. I'll show you the book that comes with it. Hold on, I'm not closing. I've got it closed over too far, there we go. So, and then it comes with this detailed book. Thank you, Carrie. I thought so. I thought it was cool. So it comes with this book that shows you all the different designs it makes in each different hole of the round one. So in hole one, two, three, four, five, so it shows you the design. Then this, it shows you the basic pattern and it tells you what disc and what shape to make to get all these different patterns. Oh, hold on, I don't know if I, just a second, I may not have turned off my auto. Yes, I did, okay. I don't know, use them in journals, who knows? Well, exact that, you know what, Carrie, that's what I was thinking. Making mandalas, making shapes then to doodle in or whatever. Yeah. Making flowers. See, and then it shows you multicolored ones. And it shows you all these different cool designs and how to make them. Exactly. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It shows you how to make all these different designs. Love this one. That's really cool. Hey, Dixie. Nice to see you. Then how to use the long ones. See, you can put your curves and your straights all together and to make different configurations. Yes, Eileen, you do. Well, exactly. I think so. Hi, Darcy. Hi, Darcy, by the way. Um, yeah, kind of the same idea as Zentangling, you know, just kind of mindless, uh, creativity. The square ones, triangle ones, kind of like a purse shaped one almost, then a racetrack shaped one. So I don't know if I have enough room on my desk right now to do it. We'll see. I have something else planned for first. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that one. I love that one. Look, isn't that neat? This one almost looks like tartan. Look at this one. It almost looks like tartan. So... And so then at the back, it gives you your basic pattern designs to start with. And then it gives you two 
I, I assume eight and a half by 11, I didn't measure. Um, paper packs, plus the larger paper pack, a uh, few sheets of larger sheet, Sh larger size paper as well. So, today, I also got my Elegant Writer, I got my Elegant Writer, little kit thing and this little booklet shows you some basic calligraphy things but I don't necessarily want it for calligraphy but anyway hey Dee Dee <laughs> this will make a kilt yeah I lead exactly uh -huh. oh dear okay so I'm going to do a little play with these but not first first I'm going to do a little play with these and this, and I need to plug it in. Do you need my little iron? Uh oh, crash. Sorry, that was my ATG. Hope no one's ears are hurting now after that. Okay. Move that out of my way, maybe. <sighs> what did you get yesterday, Rain? They are Dee Dee. Much easier to melt them if I don't have to constantly uh, peel off paper. That's why it took me an an hour to peel these while I was watching the Dr. Blake mystery from this week. So, yummy colors. You can see I tore the, I tore the sharpener out of the box. Oh, oh, you're elegant writers. Oh, cool, Rain, excellent. So, I'm going to start by showing now, this is a, Oops. Melted crayon, different melted crayon techniques have been around forever. But Martha, what's Martha's name again on Ustream? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Uh, uh, Martha is, come on, someone help me. Paula, what's Martha's name Dee Dee Paula someone help Carrie oh, dang it <sighs> someone help me with Perlis oh Colleen is that terrible I can't remember her name art no Oh, Seeking for Art. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Eileen. Seeking for Art. Oh, man, do you think I could remember? I knew Art was in there somewhere. And I kept typing Art in Twitter because to see if her name would come up, like, in my Twitter list. And it wouldn't come up because Seeking is for it. Before it. Yes, Seeking for Art, Martha, showed us this technique. And she has a video on it. She uses Bristol, so I'm going to start with Bristol, but I'm also going to do a couple of examples on regular cardstock, too, to show you the difference. All right. This is the side I want. Now, I'm going to cut it just a little bigger than a card front, um, simply because... Um, that way, if I don't like the way the edges turn out or whatever, I can trim it down. So four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to cut it at four and a half, which should be half of it, by six. And that'll give me four pieces to work with.
Okay. So this is Bristol cardstock. <laughs> yeah, I know Martha hasn't streamed in a while. Um, she stopped when he, she had surgery for her, um, on her wrist, her thumb. And she now does some art for sale and things like that. So I think she's pretty busy. And she does art classes and stuff like that. Hi, bunny. So... But she does have some older videos, I think, on her YouTube, maybe. All right, so I'm going to put... Now, step one is to put down, do your background stamping. I'm going to use... Ouch, ouch. Don't hit your iron, by the way. I'm going to use my black Versamark. You want to use a permanent ink. You can also use archival, but Versamark stamps so much better for um, for detail stamps and stuff like. Yes, and she is a grandmom now as well. So, all right. So I'm going to start with my stamp that I used the other day for my when I was dem demonstrating my Mega Flakes. So these are by Heartfelt Creations. It's sun kissed, sun kissed fleur, and it's HCPC three five three three. And I don't often keep my, I just don't have these organized in my stamping set thing yet. So that's the only reason why they still are in their package. It's because I'm behind on my organization skills. So I'm going to stamp the background first. Oh, geez, Jean, might help if you put it on the right side of your stamp press. All right. So, archival ink. All righty. Or not archival, excuse me. Versamark Black Onyx. Now this is a stamp set that gets cut out. It's not really a background set. So it's, so I have the die that cuts the flowers out. So this is something I'm planning to eventually cut these flowers out. So when I do, they'll be colored, you'll see. I know, Sandy. You'd think, wouldn't you? Must be cheaper and faster to pro produce them that way. Now you can see how beautiful that ink stamps. Just gorgeous. Every single detail. So. Oh, my poor finger. I cut my finger. Ouch. Paper cut, I think. I just wipe it off. This is permanent ink, so it doesn't make a difference. Once it dries, it's not going to reactivate on your stamp. So I just like to clean it a little bit. Letting that dry. I'm going to heat set it a little bit too because you want to make sure that it's very dry before you do the next step. And because it is a, it's not a pigment ink, it's a, a um, solvent ink. So it takes a little bit longer to dry than dye inks. 
So I'm just going to take my heat gun to it for a moment. Okay. Just to make sure. Oh, thanks, Rain. <laughs> And it's bending a little, so I'll blow it dry from the back as well, flatten it back out. All right. Okay. So now, you want to take, hold on, I need to open something on my computer here to watch as I go. When you're using your crayons, you do not want to choose complementary colors because when complementary colors blend, they make muddy colors. So, hold on. I'm looking for my color wheel just to make sure. Uh-oh. Color wheel. No, that's not it. Huh. All right, let's look. I know, I thought I put it. Huh. Let's find my color wheel. Uh oh. Ah, I just opened something weird in my. Hold on again. There it is. Ah. Huh, that's really strange. Okay. Well, all right. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking for my color wheel here. All right. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Save. All right, good old Google. What will we do without Google? All right, I just want to make sure I don't get it. All right, so I want to make it bigger so I can see. There we go. All right. So, all right. So, colors opposite each other on the color wheel are dangerous. So, I'm going to start with some adjacent. So, I'm going to do greens and blues. We're always safe with greens and blues. So, I'm going to do two greens and two blues. There. All right, so I'm going to put the dark green and dark blue together and the light green and the light blue together. Hey, Janet, what ground rules? Swap your chocolate mega flake flowers? <laughs> okay, so. So you take your iron. Nice and hot iron. And... Melt some color. There. 
and swipe. You don't want to go over back over it again if you can help it because it remelts and will remix. So try not to go over it. Try to do your swipe and be happy with it. Okay, I'm gonna do just some green here. There's still a little bit of blue left on the iron, but that's okay. So I'm gonna do just some green because I wanna get a little more green down here in this spot. Right, and there was a little blue, so that's fine. And I want a little bit more of this light blue down that middle as well. And there's still a little green on my iron, which is fine. And then, ah, there we go. Now I need a little light green over here. So my iron's gonna go there, so I'm gonna put it over here on my iron. And then, Swipe. Uh oh. Any crayons? Well, Bunny Crayola crayons have the most pigment. So that's what I'm using. You can do it with cheaper crayons, um, especially if you want to start, you know, practice in the beginning, but you do get more pigment in Crayola crayons, so you will probably get more color. All right, I'm just going to... All right, now I have a little bit of extra... I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper here to clean off my iron because it's getting a little bit mucky. So let's clean off my heating area here too. Just heat it up and wipe it off. All right, so just got this side here to do and I think maybe it needs some darker blue. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, AJ. Shavings on the paper. No, I haven't tried that, but I could try it, um, Marie. Remind me. You can always try it. All right, so now... All right, and the thing is, once it's on your paper here, it, it dries almost instantly, okay? Once the heat is away from the wax, it stays on there. Now, I have a couple of white spots, and that's fine. Now, this is not the end of the road. Now, what you do is the final step. Now, Martha does it on newsprint, and I don't know what I, I don't have any newsprint. So I'm just going to use a piece of copy paper. Okay. You turn it over. Now what I'm going to do is, oh, hold on, I have to have my piece of paper towel ready. I'm going to heat, up, heat it up again from the back till it's warm, and then I'm going to buff the surface. So in other words, I want to get the wax hot, the wax hot, and I'm going to buff the wax off and it'll just leave pigment behind. So notice how it kind of looks foggy, all right? It's not going to look foggy once I'm done with this last step, okay? My whole screen looks kind of foggy and blurry for some reason, I don't know why. Really weird. I'm on the highest quality setting, I'm on medium. Hmm, very strange. Maybe it doesn't to you guys, but it does to me. So. Laying it over, 
and I'm going to, now that's just because I had some, I had some crayon left on the, so you want to get it hot again and have your paper towel ready and buff. So this is taking off the wax. Leaving behind paint. I need to heat it again on this side just a little bit. And the bottom. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So there we go. You'll notice, I'll try and hold it so you can see the little bit of sheen that happens on the bristle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not on camera. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, B3. Hey, Annabelle. Nice to see you. All right, so there we go. So, now remember, this is was uh, taught to me by Martha, Seeking for Art. Okay, so let's do one now in yellows and oranges. I need a bright yellow. Oh, there it is. There, I prefer like a real orange. There we go. All right, so let's try these. So, since I took the, uh, I took off the uh, color, so I have no idea what colors they are. It's a yellow, an orange, yellow, an orange, and a gold. Exactly, Jeannie, they don't. So, let's get our piece of Bristol. And let's do, I have a really nice, let's see here. I have a very nice, I think I'm going to stamp this twice because it will probably make two. Hmm. And I think I'm going to do it with arch I'm going to do archival instead because I want to stamp it in green. It's bamboo. What finish is the Bristol? The Bristol is Strathmore Bristol Smooth Surface. Uh, 100 pound. Okay, AJ. See you later. I am going to show it. I'm going to show this technique, though, on regular cardstock as well. It does work, not quite as well, but it does work. So I'm going to stamp it in archival uh, fern green. And I'm going to stamp it twice because I'll be able to cut it in half and make two card fronts if I stamp it properly here. This is a uh, blanche, what is it? Something blanche stamps. I don't have my brain today, it's Saturday. 
And we're waiting for more snow. Yay! <laughs> Me too, B3. I only iron paper. My regular iron hasn't seen work in eons. Okay, I'm going to do this one the up upside down way just because it'll fit better on the paper. And this is cool because the person's signature is on it who makes this, who designed the stamp. So it stamps with the signature, which is really cool. <laughs> hey, cheeky girl. Nice to see you. Oh, the sun's shining. Free storm. Calm. Keep going, Paula. Now, I think, uh, I think this time I'm just, I'm, I'm going to take the gold out of it, I think. We'll see. I might do it around the edge at the end. But let's see. I don't know. This I have to check out this yellow. It looks more like a green yellow, and I don't want a green yellow. Oh, no, it is. It's just dirty. I'm just worried. If there's green in your yellow, it's going to turn to mud. So I, I want to make, this has to be the, you know, I colored, it looks yellow. Okay, my eyes are just deceiving me, I guess. If it turns to mud, we'll know whose fault it is. <sighs> all right, so I'm going to take all three of these at the same time, side by side. And now. I need a little more of this and a little more of this in the middle. Okay, you can see they've run together a little bit and here we go. Now, I'm going to show you a technique after with this, too, that you can also do to add some texture. Now, I want some of just this medium color to go down here. And then I want a strip of the light. Go down here. A little bit more of the dark down at the bottom. Let's do these two, the yellow and the orange. A little more of the just yellow, lighten it up a little bit. And then some of the orange yellow on the edge. Now, all right, so there we go. So remember I said don't go back over it? once it's on there, watch what you can do. What's what's really cool. I'm putting this on. Oh. Can't remember 
remember how I did that. It's not working. Oh, I'll have to do it on the next one because I let it dry too soon. Okay, anyway, that's all right. Okay, so there we go. There's our colors. So now we need to take our paper. I'm going to do it over here. I don't really want to get any of that green on it. Remelt it. So reheat it. I've got enough room on that paper towel. Oh, hi, Pavla. Nice to see you. Thank you, Sandy. Mm, very good. All right, so it's reheated, turn it over, get a clean spot, and buff it. Buff it, baby, buff it. And I'm going to have to heat this other half up again. Well, I threw out my Martha Stewart craft knife today because I couldn't get the, something happened to it, it won't tighten, the blade won't tighten. And I thought, yeah, I don't need anything around that's going to be dangerous because I'm too much of a klutz. So there we go with the green back. So now we still have our complementary colors with the orange and the green, but not with the crayon. Oh, hold on. I just need this edge right here. It needs to be heated again. There we go. No, hold on. A little bit more on this corner. There we go. Lovely, lovely. There. That's right, B3. Wax on, wax off. So... Heat this up, try and get it off here. Okay. So, let's see. I want to show you how to get a little texture in it while you're... Where did my first one go? Don't tell me I lost it already. Uh, I'm so famous for losing everything. Oh, there it is. Okay. So there was my first one with my cool colors. Ooh, good idea. I can try that, Sandy. And my warm colors. So that'll make two card fronts. I'll cut it down the middle there and trim it. Oh no, Carrie. <laughs> I won't repeat that online. No one needs to know that, but it sounds painful, poor thing. All right, so there's two. Now I want to show you this cool technique that I did by accident once when I was making one. It's not my technique. I just accidentally came across it. So let's do, whoops, hold on. Um, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do reds and, reds and oranges maybe. Let's see. Um, 
good. It's a dark red and a medium red. And then some orange. Do and some kind of lightish colors. So yeah, so maybe I'll try those. Let's try those four colors. And I'll go back to my black. And let's do Let's just do a background. Hold on. Let's do a background. What do I got here for a background? I've got... Ooh! Text! Okay. I've got text. <clears throat> hey, Barb! Well, Canada plays Switzerland for the gold in the World Curling Championship, and it's playing at 3 o'clock this morning, so I think I'm going to be up all night. <clears throat> hey, Vicky, nice to see you. Okay, so Vicky will recognize this technique because she was with us in Atlanta when Martha did a class on this crayon background technique. Okay. Yes, I am showing the Martha technique. All right, here we go. <sighs> Got a spot in the middle that's blank for some reason, but that's okay. No big deal. It's the background. I'll just leave room for more color. And I'm just gonna heat set it, make sure it's dry. Heat gun, voila. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Really, Pavla? That is amazing. We don't usually have the greatest success in biathlon races, although we've been coming up in the world in biathlon, and uh, we have a couple of great uh, cross-country skiers, too. Wow. Very cool, Pavla. I always go and check the weekend skiing reports on the stream, but... All right, so now when I put my crayon down, I'm going to put it down and I'm going to lift straight up instead of rubbing. So I'm going to take, I'm not positive about this red. I might be just using these three, a coral, a peach, and kind of an orangey red. So let's start with these two. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to put it down and swirl. Then I'm going to okay. So I'm just kind of.
So I'm going to take some more of this light. Let's see if I can do this. See if I can remember how I did it. And I'm going to go over this darker part and Hmm. I can't remember what I was doing when I never mind. I can't seem to get the effect I'm looking for. But anyway, so let's add some of this lighter coral and of the lightest peach because it's getting a little dark on me. And I still need some just of the light. of the light. Right. So I'm going on the very edge here because I just want to get a couple spots here near the edge. Now I think that this needs, I, I just happened to see this gold out here still, so I'm going to clean the iron off, and I think it just, I think it needs a little gold around the outside edges here, so let's just see what I can do about that. Oh yes, 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 that is what it needs. So actually, I might, sometimes you can also color on and then melt. That doesn't work as well. So let's just melt. All right, let's just melt. So this side, I need it on this side of the iron to go along the edge. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and that's the thing. I'm using adjacent colors on the color wheel. But I think this, this, the middle needs a little life too from that red. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that as well, just to kind of maybe clean it up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I will iron it off and add some more on the top. All right, so let's go to our back here. Just going to clean the iron a little bit. Not that it matters what happens on the back. Okay, so let's warm it up. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks, Carrie. Hey, Janet. It's fun, isn't it? It's very fun. And as long as you stay within your warm colors with warm colors, cool colors with cool colors, then you don't get any bad combinations. And don't get it. I made some very ugly mud, and I so I learned the hard way when I started this that even with the melting crayon, you do not want to. See, I'm going to go over it and add more yellow. And I think, because right now it's kind of coming, all the yellow is coming back off. So let's do the middle section. Just do it until it gets shiny. 
And then, hey CB. I know exactly, Jillian. Nice to see you. Yeah, it is very fascinating, Rain. Very fascinating. Never had art in high school. I took one year of charcoal and past uh, oil pastel at an arts studio. Need some more. I can still, you can feel it where there's wax left. So you just heat it on that spot. Oh, yay, CB, yeah. I know, if it's anything like our crops, definitely like to eat. Okay, so now that I've got the wax off and I'm left with pigment on the bristle, okay, I'm going to go back and add some gold to this to brighten it up a little bit more. Uh oh. <laughs> Oops. Didn't notice when it unplugged on me, but it's really. I noticed that the crayon wasn't melting, so it must have unplugged a while ago. All right, it's going to heat up again. There's still a spot there that... Oh, I'll heat it back up in a minute. Well, the only time I've taught art was... I'm hired as a music teacher, but of course our art teacher, she's... Oh, she's so amazing. But uh, she doesn't. She does two periods with the grade three to eight kids, a double period of art with them. So she doesn't have time in her schedule to do everybody. So a couple of years, I got to teach grade one and two art. Oh, and it was just so fun. Especially the, the particular grade two class that I had. They're in grade four now, and I just loved those kids. Oh. It didn't matter what I did with them in art class, well, music class either, but art class, they just ate it up, had so much fun, and everything they drew or painted or whatever we were doing, they loved. Like, they're just amazing kids. Sweet, sweet kids. And academically, they weren't the highest kids, but they were just incredible and I have them in grade four for music now I just love them my favorite class oops hello sorry I'm just uh, that's why I... there just making sure I've got it all now all right so I wanted to add some more gold here by the way your crayons disappear very quickly when you're having fun with this oh okay around the edge just want to kind of do it around the edge, add some gold. There we go. That'll brighten it up a little bit. All right, and then a little bit up here. I And then I think maybe it needs a little bit in the middle. Yeah, I think so. That looks good. Ah, that brightened it up nicely. There. Great. All right, clean off my iron. So. Yay, okay, CB, cool. Uh, 
I'm going to lose a crayon. Oh, it fell on me. Got it. <laughs> Luckily, I have a blanket over my legs, so it fell on the blanket. Thank you, Eileen. Okay. And now I have to buff off that new stuff that I put on. So let's turn it over around the edge. Let's do this edge first. And this corner. Silly iron won't stand up for me. And the center. And the bottom and this side. <laughs> yeah, I know, Eileen. Me too. <sighs> okay. There we go. Lovely. Make a wonderful card. Okay, so, okay, one more on this, I may as well, I've got it cut, I may as well use it. So let's do some purples, purple and blues, yeah, purple and blues, and you can even go over into the greens with the purple. Thank you guys. Isn't it wonderful, Jillian? So, purples, blues, and you can even go into the pure greens. Purple, blue, there's a blue green. Maybe I'll do a. Should I do a dark? I think I'll do a darker purple. Okay. I'm going to need a lighter blue. Hmm. Oh. That'll be a, my bright one. That'll work. And let's use my music brown stamp. <laughs> yes, I did, CB. Took me an hour. Because you don't, otherwise, you'll run into the uh, paper and start a fire with your iron, and you don't want to do that. I'm going to need a new piece of paper towel for this one. The other one's pretty nasty looking. All right. So, stamp first. Oh, gosh darn it. Hold on. I don't really need to be getting fingerprints all over everywhere, so let me get that ink. I was holding it upside down and put my finger right in the ink. Jeez. Well, if I'm not sure, I've been scribbling on my uh, piece of paper here to my left. 
I don't care what color name it is. I just go by the look of the color. Doesn't bother me. I can tell if it's a blue, blue green or a green blue or a blue purple or a purple yellow or whatever. <laughs> yeah, Eileen. Dee Dee must be working. She's here somewhere, hiding in the background. No advice yet from Dee Dee. Yeah, Vicky is just being funny today on Twitter. Being funny. <sighs> there we go. You can quite get it in the middle, which is exactly why I made them slightly larger than card fronts. In case I didn't get things stamped perfectly. All right, here we go. Now it looks like it's totally covering, but remember, once we clean it off a little bit, it won't be quite so dark. I'm really liking this light, this medium blue that I'm using. So let's do some of that light blue. Ooh, look how it kind of, I'm going to try and just get that shape like that. All right, so now I need some more light. Because I kind of mixed it a little too much there. So let's get a little light over there. And a little dark right here in this corner. That's nice. Now let's get some of the, I need a little bit of dark right here on this edge as well. So this side of the iron, there we go, like that, a little dark in there, need a little bit of light down here on this bottom corner, swipe. Oh no, Sandy, darn it. Yeah, well, we're supposed to get another 15, 20 centimeters. In normal circumstances, 15 to 20 centimeters is no big deal for us. That's like six to eight inches. Normal circumstances, not a big deal, really. Except that there's nowhere to put it anymore. <laughs> there's nowhere for the snow to go. It's getting very dangerously high everywhere. Snow banks, you can't see to go through intersections. Okay. I need a little dark right up in this corner. There. Okay. Ooh. So let's clean off my iron. Baby wipe. Oh, 
Okay. Thank you, Rain. Thank you, Cheeky. All right. So now let's reveal a little bit more of the background. That's just do the bottom half first because I never get it all wiped off in one fell swoop before it gets cool again. Well, the purple's coming out much nicer with it being when it's rubbed off. <laughs> I know the scrap paper's cool, isn't it? See how much more you can see the purple? Oh, you guys aren't seeing nearly what I'm seeing. It's much darker in my purple. The purple, there's much more purple in my, in real life. All right, so let's get the bottom half here. I think I'm, I'm gonna try and take a picture of this and see if I can put the picture in my chat because you guys can't see the purple on camera like I can at all. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, hold on. Let me take a photo with my phone and see if I can get it into the chat for you. Just a moment. My new phone case came in. Yummy. Get that? Matches my iPad now. All right. Oh, it's on video for some reason. There we go. Try and hold it still. Okay. All right, hold on. All right, so let me save it to Just a moment. I think if I tweet it, then I can save the photo from there. I think. Copy it, I should say. All right. So, let me see. I should be able to copy it from my Twitter and paste it into the chat. So let me see here. Copy image and paste. Hmm. Now it worked once when I did it from my desktop so I don't know why it's not working okay hold on let me do try something else uh, let me put it on my desktop hold on
Huh. Well, anyway. If you follow me on Twitter, you can see it. I don't know why it won't. Oh, hold on. Maybe I have to open it. Just a second. Let me do this. Okay. Copy image. Pay. Oh. Hmm. Oh well. There it is on my Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you can go and see it there, I think not sure but anyway I can't seem to figure out how I pasted it last time anyway on we go so oh right Carrie hold on hold on hold on Carrie, I'll give you uh, just a minute. Where are you, Carrie? Oh, there you are. There. Carrie, you can open the links for me, okay? Forgot my... Huh! Okay. All right, carry your operator. You open my links for me. Well. Oh, are they? Okay, never mind then. Whatever. You can check it out. I know a lot most of you follow me anyway on Twitter, so you can see it there. But anyway, it's a lovely blue and purple. <laughs> All right, so let's try on cards, regular card stuff. So I'm going to try it. This is Staples, 110 pound. Oh, it does show a picture of it? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Excellent, excellent, good. Okay, so... Okie dokie. Now, uh, so this is just regular 110-pound cardstock. Let's do, uh, let's see, let's see, what do I want to, what do I want to, oh, you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's test and see what happens. I've got these Prismacolor markers. I'm just going to... Do some hand doodling. Hold on. I want to use a larger tip, though. Let's see here. Let's do a chisel tip. Let's do the chisel tip. All right, so these are Prismacolor permanent markers. Okay. So let's just do some flowers.
Oh, well, that looks like... Okay, I guess I'm turning it this way. Didn't do a very good judgment of those. Uh... So, some little dots in the center, so the centers of the flowers have a little more texture. Let's do a little leaf veining here. So let's just try and see if we can, oh, I need to make one more. There has to be one more, because there has to be three. So let's just do a little guy down here. Let's do a little one. Okie dokie. So I don't need that. So let's try and actually make it a little seam. Alright, so on the bottom I'm going to do some greens. So I'm going to do two greens on the bottom section to make it look like it's grass. Ooh, I like that. I like it a lot. See, I'm singing just like Paula. I'm singing. Don't know why I'm singing. Okay. And some glue. And let's clean off the green. I touched the green and it remelted, but that's okay. Just trying to make a little bit of a scene here. All right, and then let's see.
Okay. And I don't like that one. Pudding's yellow up. I'm going to put that up there. Orangey yellow. And a darker, darker blue. Let's see, is this blue or purple? That's purple. Hold on. I need to find a dark blue. There, I think. I think. Yep. There's the blue I'm looking for. That's better. Now, move on. I'm going to get rid of all this so my yellow and orange will go on nice and clean. Bye, Sandy. See you later. Now we're talking about bugs in my, my chat. Ew, ew, ew. Bugs. <sighs> All right. I'm going to have to put some more blue over that top because the green kind of ran, but I'm going to melt it off first. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry, Vicky. Uh, 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 <coughs> oops. Is you stream giving you guys trouble today? Probably because of the NCAA basketball. Jeez, please. Uh oh. Yeah. Hold on. I need another clean piece of printer paper here. <sighs> Yay, Vicky. Fingers crossed for you too. I lost my paper towel. Hold on. Stupid iron. Okay. Yeah, it still says that I'm recording. It's still on. Yes, ma'am. Most of the orange come off, so I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more up there just for that hint of sunshine coming through it. See if it'll go on or not. 
see what happens here. does make a little bit of a green color there, but anyway, whatever. Okay. Let it dry. Thank you, Darcy. All right. So there's lots of things you can do with this. You don't have to draw underneath. Just know that although you take most of the wax off, there is still going to be a bit of a resist if you try. Yeah, so you can't, it's hard to do a second layer. It does give a little bit of a light feeling there though. Yes, you are Jeannie, you are here, I see you. So, so this is, now remember, this is just on regular cardstock, so it did still work. It didn't keep as much of the, oh, well, I don't know, it did just, it did work fine. Still left behind lots of pigment. <laughs> well, you never know, Eileen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. One never knows. Never know. So let's review the crayon color technique. This one I used permanent Prismacolor uh, pens to draw with. A chisel tip Prismacolor pen. This used Versamark, or Versafine, excuse me, Black Onyx. <laughs> Cheeky Girl. Uh, Cheeky Girl, just so you are aware, I am president, and no one can dethrone me. I am president of Club BAM. Now, I know Cheeky Girl's only 15, and Club BAM stands for Bad at Mailing. Mm -hmm. Just so you know. <laughs> then the Versa Fine Black Onyx. With some red, coral, and... Um, orange there then with uh, more pure orange and yellow colors with green archival underneath and then this was Versafine black onyx with blues and greens So you can be a board member, uh, Vicki. So these four are Bristol, and this is cardstock. So, you know, they all work. What you need, the thing you need is a smooth, smooth texture. It wouldn't work with watercolor paper. I don't know, maybe hot press, I don't know, so. Thank you, Eileen. <laughs> <coughs> Paula, that's funny. Okay, so now let's unplug my iron. The other thing I was going to do today, it's kind of my leftover papers here. So we kind of left with some cool papers as well. Unless I was cleaning my iron off with that one. All right, let's put this over here. 
I was going to play with my elegant writers. I thought, today, where are they? Where did I put them? Oh, I didn't even put all my crayons away. I don't want to put the box out of my range yet. Where did I put my elegant writers? Sheesh, please. Hold on. Just a second. I just realized I didn't put my scoochie in my bag here with my stuff. And my glue for my Mega Flakes and my cleaner. There we go. Now. I showed my elegant writers at the beginning, so they have to be here somewhere. It's just a matter of finding that safe spot that I put them in. All right, let's see. Where did they go? Where, where did my elegant writers go? Where, where did they be? They're still in their package. Oh, I see them. All right, and let's grab my watercolor book here. Just a moment. Uh, just a second here. Eesh. All right. <sighs> oh, thank you, Vicki. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yes, it yes it is, Paula. You did mail a package, so all right. Since this one, since this page is a hot mess, when I was demoing my, uh, <laughs> I'm going to start on the back in case it gets messed up too. Then we won't have a problem. It'll front and back will be messed up. All right, so. Let's go with, just a moment, I'm going to try and find a, uh, well, I was going to try and find a clip, but I don't know where they are. Where are all my clips? My binding clip, binder clips. Okie dokie. Well, Jen must have stolen my binder clips. That's all there is to it. I'll have to try and make a paper clip work, I guess. I have a whole round tin of binder clips and I don't know where it went. All right. Okie dokie. Now, let's get my water brushes out here. This is the one that has water in it, I think. Oh, maybe it doesn't. How am I supposed to tell if it has water or not? Let's squeeze her and see. Oh, there's water. Alrighty. And let's get out a clean baby wipe in case I need it to wipe off my water brush. Fold it in fours. Okay, so, Paula, what shall I start with here? I got the set. Came with, let's see here, if I, I don't know if I can read it or not, the 2.0 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter, 3.0 millimeter, and, oh, wait now, 2.0, how come I, 
I have two 2.0s. All right, so there's two 2.0s. I'm going to put one in a safe place, my drawer. Oh, no, Dixie. I've been known to throw out forks and stuff like that, cleaning off a plate and throw the fork in the garbage by mistake and whatever. And all of a sudden, you have no forks left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'll just start with a nice flower. So, which you all just saw that I'm not very good at drawing. I'm going to draw one that has like longer flower petals, more like a daisy. So let's draw a daisy. I guess I have to move my paper to hold to get the pen sitting correctly. I guess I should have started on a piece of paper instead of in a book. This is a Strathmore watercolor book. A little too far away to see what I'm doing. That's the problem with drawing for me on stream because if I get close enough so that I can see then you guys can't see through my head. All right so yell at me if I'm doing anything wrong Paula please. All right, so what if I want, if I want to do, I'm going to do one where I do the outside, spread it to the outside, and I'm going to do one where I spread it to the inside. All right. It actually, what's really interesting, it brightens up the black as well as pulling the color out. Look how the black line is getting brighter as well as pulling away the blues and the pinks from the black ink. That's really strange. Uh, these are elegant writers who makes the Paula Where did I put the, hold on, where did I put the package that I just took them out of? I didn't even put it in the garbage, it seems, unless I missed the garbage. The bag is right here, and there's no package there. Uh, they're calligraphy and fine lettering pens. And then just a water brush. I don't know. Speedball, thank you. Sorry, Speedball makes them. Yeah, thank you, Paula. I just, I found it at the same time as you set it on. Making sure I still have water on my brush tip here. Just touching it. 
to activate the ink. I'm going to go all the way in because it does brighten up that line. Okay, I need a new paper towel because I need to blot here. Oh. <sighs> and it does it, I assume, because the water is activating the ink. And as we know, black is made by combining all colors. And therefore, for whatever reason, the water activates the color. But then it becomes permanent. And see, when you dance, when you blot, I blotted a little too much. I should have waited till it dried a little bit. When you blot, you get more of the pinks coming through. Because the green separates. The bluey separates. Green blue separates. Tip it, turn my book around here so I can e more easily get to these others. When you blow it, you get a little more of the pinks, which I don't necessarily want, but. You know me, I'm not really a fan of pink. Although it's not really a baby pink, which is kind of the worst. Probably the worst. Okay. Kind of more like a rosy pink. But see how much darker the, the black line also gets? You'd think it'd get lighter because it's pulling some of the color away. Very interesting. Take some color from here to here because I don't want to make it a I should have kind of colored wet the whole paper first. I'm gonna take some color from over here to kind of extend out here a little bit. There we go. That's better. There. Yeah, it does, Carrie. It's very cool. Now let's uh, let's heat set that so it'll dry. Heat gun, Paula. Hold on, I'm just going to try something with my settings just a little bit because it seems to be a little too bright. A little more contrast. Uh, 
Oh, that's, that's a little better. Saturation up a little bit. Sharpness. Oh, there we go. Does that look a little better, you guys? The picture? Looks a little more... Um, oh, I'm really pink there. Hold on. I've got to get my skin in there to have a real... Hold on. I'm pink, but I'm not that pink. <laughs> Hold on. That's better. Okay. Yeesh. All right. Still a couple wet spots here. Cheryl, it doesn't show as much pink because I left the green there. If you dab away some of the green, then the pink appears. So you see the pink where I dabbed away the green. No, Vicki, it won't move, neither will the ink that I spread. The ink that I spread will be permanent as well. <laughs> yeah, no, CB. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So now I'm going to draw another one similar. And, but I'm going to draw the ink inside the flower instead of outside. I think I better draw the inside first here. It is a calligraphy pen, so you kind of have to hold it the right way when you're drawing in order to get your lines shaping the way you want them to. And that I'm obviously still working on. I'm just making the petals a little more of a rounded shape instead of pointed on the end this time. And I'm going to make the stem double so that I will have something to fill in. There we go. Let's make a leaf this time because I forgot to put leaves on. Leaves. Oh, leaves. <laughs> Where were you taught English, Jimmy? Okay. Okay, so I'm not a good drawer. -er -er. All right, so. Well, you know, I, <laughs> this is my first time trying it too. So like, uh, hello, all I know is what Paula told us the other night and what I figured out doing one flower. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just say. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I will try and do the center. Let's see if I can make the center pink. So, let's see here. So what I'm going to do is draw in the blue. And dab it off. Let's see, I'm getting some pink there. Draw in some more. Let it sit for a minute. So I don't think everything back away. Draw in some more. There we go. Now I'm getting some pink. 
So it obviously releases the it obviously releases the blue first and then the red. Obviously. Okay, so now I want to make the petals blue. Oh, yes, it's not a stupid question. Of course you could, Vicki, do it with the ink tents. But the thing with the ink tents is whatever color you color with the ink tents, that's the color that's going to bleed. The cool thing of this is you're kind of getting more of an inky... Yeah, you can get two colors from one. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, CB. It depends on the colors that they put together to make the black. All right, so now let's do the petals here. See how much I can get. I want it darker on the tips and obviously darker on there. And then a little lighter through the middle if I can. So let's see if it's, so that's the thing. It's like, can you control this to leave darker in areas that you want shaded? a little shading in there. It's just something to play with, you know. Oh yeah, I love my water brushes. This is a uh, one of those Japanese ones. I I don't know if it's the pen pal or the koi. Not sure which one it is. Can't remember. Bought them on Amazon. Or no, 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 no. For a reason. I don't know. Beautiful teal coming out on that one. All right, now I'm going to try something a little bit different on the next petal. The next petal, I'm going to wet it first with water. I'm going to wet the petal, the white part, with water first. Wet the paper, then see if the ink spreads any differently. If it's moving into wet instead of moving into dry paper. So let's just see what happens. Goes a little smoother, I guess. Let's take out a little bit here. Darker in the center, darker in the 
centered. Hey, Diane. Nice to see you. I'm not. I just saw you come in, Diane. I was focusing on my fleur. APG Jamie. Um, artist, poet, girl, rain. Artist, poet, girl. Purple Door Studios is her blog. Artist, poet, girl, she is on YouTube. Oh, you've got to watch her YouTubes. They are absolutely the most entertaining thing ever. She is fabulous. Well, it's nice to see you here, Diane. Wonderful to see you here. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to be up all night, Diane, because Canada is going against Switzerland for the world, for the gold medal in women's curling. It's in, happening in Japan, so it happens in the middle of the night. Now, I'm getting some lines here because of the way I picked up the water. So that's kind of interesting. The same thing would happen in watercoloring. I'm getting kind of blooms, they're called, which means lines between your color and your where your color stops. So I think after you dab, you should probably wet the paper again. So it will still flow a little and not give you any blooms, maybe. We'll see. It's all experimenting. Ha, 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 Diane. Next Saturday, the men's world starts, but at least it's in Halifax, so it's in my time zone. Thank goodness. Normal times of day. But I'm not a huge fan of the Canadian team that won and is representing us. I mean, they're probably, they may win or they're going to at least get silver, but I just don't like the skip. It's not a very, I'm a nice person. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't mean nice as in that. She's not as sportsmanlike as I might like her to be. That's all. But that's okay. I'm cheering for her because she is representing Canada. But I didn't cheer for her at the Canadian Championships. Let's just put it that way. I keep taking away all the goodness. Well, I'm trying to just put highlights in the... I'm just trying to put highlights in the petal. That's all. That's all. I'm just... Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm just playing... And it's not really working very well because like, now they don't really look like flowers at all. So, well, I learned that lesson. That's okay. That's why I'm here. Learn, learn, learn. Learn, learn, learn. You can see where I picked up stuff. The, the pink shows through. And the pink shows through more when it dries as well, I'm seeing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Sandy. Woohoo. Oh, Eileen, stop it.
Darcy. You guys are just don't like it because the Americans aren't as good as us at it. That's like people, that's like you guys watching a stupid funny shaped ball being thrown around and jumping on each other before they can even catch it or bouncing a silly ball from one end to the other end. Ah, uh, you guys call that sports. I don't. Yeah. Obviously, Darcy. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay, CB. <laughs> hey, I wasn't offended at all. Don't worry about it. Sheesh. I'm sorry if I sounded offended. I was not offended at all. I'm just like, just trying to see what happens here and what happens there. Just testing them out. Just testing things out. Oh, cool, Paula. Very cool. Great rhyme. Paula says, there's no right or wrong way. You just got to play. Woohoo! So there's two interesting ways to use the elegant writers. <laughs> That's true, Darcy. I should know better. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah. Linda's probably out getting her Smarties and bacon and, and uh, beer before the storm hits. Which reminds me, I do want to run over town, too. A couple errands I want to run. Okay, so... Hmm. Well... What do you think, guys? What do you think? Interesting, huh? <laughs> hey, and Sandy, Vicky, and P. Sandy. We're a trio. <laughs> Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and speaking of telephone, mine's hiding under a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, forget it. It's one of those 866 numbers. Not answering it. Thought that might be uh, Darcy calling to give me hack. <laughs> so what What next, guys? I wonder, oh, I wonder if I should try drawing a face. I like it. Not a real face. <laughs> Well, obviously it's gonna have to be a let's use a thinner one. Let's try the 2.0 this time. Yeah, see Paula too. She's just smart enough not to make a comment on it. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so let's try a face. Be prepared, folks. Be prepared. 
It's just going to be an artsy face, okay? I will qualify this. It's going to be an artsy face. She's turning her head sideways, just so you know. Maybe it's an alien. Messed up the eyebrow, dang it. Oh, darn it. I'm going to have to try and fix that up with water. That didn't go very round. Like I said, I can't draw. She's got a chin like Jay Leno. <sighs> we don't know if Dar's streaming tonight, Darcy. We asked around a little bit and we haven't seen anything, so. Oh, hi, Susan. Glad to see you. I'm just playing. If you came in, this is not supposed to look like anything. Um... Great, great. Okay, I think I need to use the larger one for the hair. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess, Susan. <sighs> All right. She looks a wee bit scary, but we'll fix her. We'll make her look even more scary. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Oh my goodness, the poor thing. Her hair is way longer on the right hand side. She did not get a very good hairdresser last time, obviously. <laughs> Poor woman. This poor woman being drawn by me. What a shame. <sighs> I'm sorry about your Jay Leno chin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Cheryl. Okay. Now, let's see. I really want to use some of this in the eyes, obviously. And in her lips, I hope to get a little pink going here. So let's drag through the black. I think it's just so cool how it brightens up the black while it's pulling color out of it. A little pink in her lips. <laughs> Carrie, oh, you poor thing. How rude. It's not paint. Um, these are elegant writers. They're actually permanent. They're calligraphy pens, Susan. And for some, and the ink, water, um, breaks down the ink and provides these wonderful blues and pinks. Blues and green, you're really more like a teal than a blue or a green, like a teal. The mix of the blue and the. Oh, and now, of course, the pink is coming out when you dab. So let's try and get a little more blue in there. I don't want to get rid of the lines completely, of course. So let's keep some of those lines there. And then I'm going to wet here where the paint ends so that I don't end up with blooms if I can help it. Let's give her a little shadow under her chin area here. There. Oh no. Ooh, add some peerless. Okay. Once I all right. I will do that once I finish this side of her hair, Eileen. Good idea. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, <clears throat> instead of, I'm going to spritz it. Ooh, look at that! Ooh, fun stuff! Watch this, watch this. Ooh, ooh. Ah, I know what I'm going to do on my next page. I have an idea! I have a brilliant, wonderful idea. Ooh, I kind of sounded like the Grinch there, didn't I? A wispy hair sticking out. Another wispy hair. Let's do a wispy hair. Hmm. I'm gonna let's do her I'll do her face with peerless Eileen and see what happens.
it. Now, okay, all right. So let's just dry this first. No, yeah, it still says it's recording. Right, so I'll dry it off before I get my peerless involved here. Now there's still ink on her face that's going to activate okay when I add my peerless so that's what we want to see what's going to happen yeah and it's not going through the other side this is good Strathmore paper okay. Dee will be happy she wanted me to start working in this book so I am finally <laughs> there, see that got Dee Dee into the chat. Okay, so now what I want to do is get my book of Peerless. So, for those of you who weren't here on Monday, I showed my book of Peerless watercolors. This is a, of course, I had to leave the first one with nothing on it because it's going to be used. There's no plastic here on the front. Of course, I could have glued plastic there, but whatever. Once they're wet, you don't want to. Okay, so I want to get color for faces. There is a mahogany brown. Oh, no, I think it's, hold on, next page. Sepia, neutral, pearl gray. Oh, hold on. It must be with my, yeah, there we go. Went right past it. Okay, so this is my flesh tint from the complete edition. Edition. Yeah, well, see, for mine, Paula, I cut a piece off anyway because they were too long. They were too long for the pages, so I'm sending my cutoff sections for most of them to, to uh, Linda's. But, yeah, it would make a cute little palette for... Yeah. So, all right. So here's my flesh tint. So we're just going to see. I'll just have to remember not to take the ink. I have to make sure I take a clean brush back onto my palette here because I don't want to transfer the ink back to the watercolor because it's... All right. So here goes. So let's start up here. We're going to... Her poor nose. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. I I need to make it into a pa on a palette, don't I? I keep forgetting that. Where's my palette? Um oh I don't even know where my palette is. Just get a piece of plastic. Hold on one more, please. One moment, please. There. So I got a piece of acetate here. It should wash off, so it shouldn't be an issue. Mix it with some water. See how much that I just like touched. So I can actually close this now. So I have more than enough color here for what I need. I want to get some like real flesh tones on before I Kind of mix it with the ink. <laughs> Although it's spreading already. Okay. 
is a real art seeker, that's for sure. She's got some nice blue eyeshadow on. And let's give her a little bit of a shadow at her hairline by using the ink. All right, let's get a little more of the flesh tone on my brush. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. I unfortunately started too way too dark on the forehead. Uh oh, now she has rings around her eyes. Poor thing. She didn't get much sleep last night. Poor girl. I'll experiment with a different color out around the outside here to see what happens. But I've got an idea rolling around for my next page that's still kind of in my head. So I'm like, uh, she looks a little bit very scary. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work, Paula. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Paula, you could almost get one of those smaller little photo albums not the hardcover ones you know the soft cover ones for your art on the couch swatches of your peerless Because they're much lighter and then but still you know the kind of same format just cut an inch off each one and put it in your put it in the other one Yeah, definitely an artsy girl, this one. Yes, she is. Just going to add a little more color here to her cheeks. An artistic rendering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like a four by six one. Okay, so... Let's see what other color. What color will I do around her? Let's see. Oh, shall we put blue or green or purple? No, I don't want to do purple because that won't be distinctive enough. Oh, let's do peacock blue. Peacock blue. Where did my blue? Here it is, I guess. Peacock blue. All right. I'm going to mix some on my palette. All right. I'm going to make, hold on. I'm going to, got to wet my paper first for this background kind of thing. So I'm going to do like the outer parts first and then go towards her head at the end so that I get the blue first and then blend it in. 
So I'm just going to try and wet the paper first. All right, so now let's get some more peacock blue here. And it should blend much more, much better, I should say. I didn't get enough. Some water. You guys see where I'm mixing it? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, good. All right. So so far, I'm trying not to get any of the. I'm going to add a little more color here. Now we're going to test and see if this, if there's any left to spread in my outer lines or not. So we're going to see if it reactivates after it's been activated and dried. So that's the test. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, a little bit because it's making it darker. So I guess probably sections that weren't activated yet are activating. If it was parts I didn't touch first time around. Okay, very cool. So notice how much more the pink is showing through now that it's dry in the hair. Bye, Dee Dee. See you later. So that peacock blue is almost the perfect color because this green that's coming out with it is really a darker color, darker kind of version. So there we go. Look at that. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Jeannie. Thanks, Rain. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it, Paula? Oh, no, it's allergies. It's time to take my meds, actually. That's why. <clears throat> I forgot to take them before I started. I was usually take them at lunch. So that's my allergies. It's not a cold. I always have the sniffles, even with my three out two allergy pills I take because of my cats, but I'm not giving them up, so. I can live with sniffles more than I can live without my cats. Just just saying. Okay. So now I have this other idea. We're going to do one more play. And then I have to run over town. One more play thing. Thanks, Vicki. All right. So let's just dry this before I go closing the book. Messing it up on my flowers. Thanks, Gary. 
Oh, Jeannie, they're wonderful. Worth every penny. Actually, they're not very expensive. They're not very expensive at all. A, a dollar a, a sheet, basically, is what it turns out to be. Maybe a little more. The yellow on the top of that page is from my first page when I was painting. Yes, I have another idea. They do, Janie. Furries make the world go round. An idea that was inspired with my spray bottle, so. And the elegant writers. So dry it from the other side because it's starting to warp the other way. Oh, you were bad this month? Okay. Well, it's not like they're going anywhere, Jeannie, so just put them on the top of your list for your next time you have a little budget to spend. That's all. Exactly, Paula. Exactly. Paula said she's had hers for 15 years. Long-term investment for the peerless. That's where I got mine. And they actually delivered very quickly, too, strangely. Okay. All right, so she's dry. Let's put her under the paper clip. All right. So, my idea I had came when. I spray bottled some of the paper the other on the other page and saw how it moved. So Yeah, <laughs> Paula. So I'm just going to make some doodles. Um some swirls. Uh, let's see some. Hold on, I gotta look at the nib here. So I have to trace back over that again because I was holding the nib wrong. Let's do some triangle doodles. And some square doodles. Square swirls, I guess, whatever. Sorry, hope my head's not in your way. Hey, Gigi, I can't remember your name. Green Jack Glams, oh, I forget it. Nice to see you. All right. All 
All right. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to spritz the page and see what happens. <laughs> okay. See, look at that. See? Fun, fun, fun. See what happens if I hold it farther back? It doesn't get as much direct spray. So now I'm going to just try and make sure the whole page is wet to let the ink run. We don't know if Dara is streaming, AJ. We don't know. We asked her the other day. She was in uh, Barb's stream or Dee Dee's stream. Can't remember. She didn't answer. Or I didn't see her answer. I wasn't going to touch, but I have to because there's some areas that are just too white. I don't like white. So I'm going to try and just leave it except for the white spots and see what happens here. Just trying to spread a little non-white. Just want to see what happens. See if it stays splotchy or... Ooh, some drops of alcohol ink on it. Yeah, the colors are all from the pen. Okay, so let's see. I think I got some alcohol inks right here. Let's see what will happen. Probably not as much because it's watercolor paper than if I was doing it on Oh no, maybe this isn't where my alcohol inks are. Oh, I thought this is where my alcohol inks were. Darn it, it's not. Um where are all my alcohol I don't know where my alcohol inks are then because I thought they were all in here. Okay. I guess my alcohol inks are put away, so no luck. We'll have to make a note of that, though, to try it another time. Paula can try that on her stream tonight, eh, Paula? Hmm? Yeah, no, I used up my, I did have some alcohol in a bottle, but I put my, I used it up and I, I have to refill it. My alcohol is in the washroom. But maybe we can remind Paula to try that tonight. Or Paula already has a plan. Maybe I'll make a note of it and try it on Monday on my stream. All right, so let's just dry this and see what happens. Um, someone tried it and they don't, it wasn't, doesn't work. The only reason this, the reason this works is because when they make black, whoops, they use various colors. When you make, well, I guess, I guess some colors would use more than one color too. I don't know. 
But it must be whatever process they do, they use to blend the colors must not, whatever the binding agent is, isn't perm, is obviously, yeah, it must be, I don't know, maybe the binding agent must be water soluble or something. No, you're streaming on Sunday, Carrie. You can do it tomorrow. You're the one who's supposed to stream on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Paula is on tonight at 9 Eastern. That's right. It's Stencil Saturday. Right. So no worries. Someone will try it with alcohol ink at some point, I'm sure. With alcohol. I'm sure while it's wet, it would act like other alcohols, I would think. And watercolor. There you go. So, just some fun, some fun stuff. I made a mess today. So, there you go. Cool. Ah. So, thank you very much, everyone. I'm, I'm not going to close this yet because it's not completely dry. And now I have to go see. Now I have to go test my craft scrubby and see if it takes off ink. If not, I'll be going to town like this. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So, Thanks everyone for coming out. For those of you, Susan, you were probably arrived after. So this was my last page. I did a face with the Elegant Writers. I did flowers, dragging the ink to the outside, dragging the ink to the inside. And I started demoing some crayon, melted crayon background techniques. Here we go. So that was today's show. I hope you all had fun. And see you all later. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you, Cheeky. Thanks, everyone. Oh, hi, Linda Army. Missed you coming in. Sorry.